Hello, what is up guys? It is Keegan here. Today we are bringing you guys episode number 15 of the Olympic Leon Kerr mode. Before we get into today's episode, I want a few things I want to shout out. In the description of these videos, I've got a bunch of links to my Twitter, my second YouTube channel, I guess technically my primary YouTube channel, my Discord, and then my Twitch channel. Make sure to go and follow all of those as well. Join the Discord, etc. I'm trying to build up uh, those certain communities around it, and it makes it easier for me to communicate with you guys as well about the content I'm creating and various things that are going on. I'm trying to improve my attentiveness to the comments section below, um, but if you want to reach hold of me at any point in time or you want to interact with future content and different types of content I do, make sure to check those out. As well, make sure to like the video, as always. It really does help out um, with people discovering the video. That being said, Today's episode, we're going to be playing a few games. We have away a game against Montpellier. We go back to Locomotive Moscow. Uh, we uh, kind of did them last episode. We game against Ren, the Saint Etienne. We got a big derby game there, and then at home away to Galatasaray. Actually, so those will be the five games we play today. And then the next episode, it's a real big one. We got PSG and Real Madrid in the same episode, and then two episodes, and we're already back in the transfer window been a really quick quick uh quick going on this season so we're currently in fourth place as you can see there this is the team we expect to see Guimaraes is still not as sharp as I would like him to be I think what I'm going to do is give Guimaraes um he said eight sharpness play him for probably half the game today and then um probably rest him for the Champions League game so I'll fix the team up a little bit and I'll see you guys in the game all right we are in the game against Montpellier and one thing you'll have noticed in this video, in the last video, is I've actually changed my upload time. I was used to upload at 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm changing it to 11 p.m. Eastern. That appears to be when most of you guys are online. So it only makes sense to upload these videos around that time. So let me know what you think of the new upload time as well. Um, if you think I should maybe do it a little earlier or a little later. It's, it, all, it all depends on, you know, how early I record and kind of how, how um, far in advance I edit the videos. You can see here, we're on the new update. The manager isn't wearing the full kit anymore. And everything is back to normal on PC. CPU still doesn't cross, I don't think, though. So that's kind of annoying. Um, due to our position kind of in the Champions League right now, we're going basically full strength in the league game here. As you can see there, Depay uh, is starting. Kakare, um, Ocampos, we kind of got the whole whole front three going on. Um but we, we made a few changes um, in terms of player growth decisions. You can see the team, Montpellier, back five, seven, yay. Um, player that we were looking at, Mole, is a uh, very, very solid player on FIFA. His ultimate team card is kind of crazy, that purple one or whatever that you you can do through objectives. Um, but seven, yay was a player we were looking at in real life, but never actually materialized. Melvin Bard is starting, and then I said Basuma was going to come in um, for this game. We want to make sure we... Um, prioritize uh, Guimaraes getting back to full fitness. He'll come on in the second half at some point, but we don't want to rush him um, when we got more important games coming up, like the PSG game. Oh my god, the CPU has screwed that up, and I can't believe I actually haven't put that one away. What is going on? Oh, counter press, can we get, the, get them back here? Ow, Arthur? No. Wow, how have I not... <laughs> How have I not gone up? I've had like three insanely good chances, but I've scuffed them all. Alright, Awar has found it through. Let's move it in. Oh, Basuma. Oh my gosh, and the keeper. Dude, this keeper is in one right now. We've had... S I'm gonna have to see the shots at halftime. We've had so many good opportunities. Just nothing going. Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. Oh, right, here we go. We got on the counterattack, the final attack of the first half. Dembele is through. We should get a chance to at least take a shot here. Oh, a Campos, and we get a corner out of it at least. I figured, I figured they might have blew the whistle there to end the half. But Dembele on the head, back onto the goalkeeper. Let's get back to that near post. Oh my God! And the keepers made a huge save. Oh my god, and we've completely screwed that up. Alright, going into the half, 
at nil nil. We have had so many opportunities to go ahead. It's kind of ridiculous. Like thinking about it, like, like what are the match facts so far? We've had seven shots, six on target. I'm actually controlling the possession too. Kind of rare for me recently, but the team is working. Let's keep going. See if we can get this result. Oh, there we go. Great rush on the counterattack. Find Depay. Oh, that should be a goal. Oh my god. And the keeper saves it again. What is going on? Why is this keeper so good nowadays? Oh, our found Basuma. Please finish that. And you, Basuma, has attacked from central midfield. And we have gone 1-0 up. It's taken so many opportunities for us to finally score. Oh my god. What a what a nightmare this game has been finishing wise. But Pisuma's he he gets so far ahead in these positions right now. As you can see, Ocampos comes in, and Auer leaves it down, and that first touch was not good. But he has put it away. Two goals in the league. Let's make some substitutions now. I think Pisuma is someone we want uh, in that game. Uh, is someone we want in that locomotive game. Um, let's put him humorous down deeper. Let's bring Sherky in as well, and then we'll bring Marshall on on the left side there. Now that we've at least solidified our chance at winning, get some of our younger players a few more chances to play. Oh my god. There's no shot. <laughs> Montpellier have drawn level at the very, very end. All right, we're going to skip through. I'm not defending a while there. Let's see if we can in this final minute. Man, they were doing such a good job of attacking me. And it just, at the very end, they're going to get it. Oh, there we go, Dembele. Oh, my God. Poor touch. And we have drawn one all against Montpellier. Our second draw in a row in the league. Definitely results like this are going to be what's going to kill us in the league. Not going to be able to win the league playing like this. And look there, PSG with another win. Shows that the league title definitely might be out of our grasp this season. But, oh no. No, don't, don't do me like this. Hate being subbed off. Need to say, okay. He's not trying to leave yet. I'm like, bro, relax. You're just being subbed off for a game. But yeah, our finishing came back to bite us there. Next up, we have the game against a look at a Moscow. And uh, I'm going to do a few things in the development just to improve some of the stats for our players. I'll see you guys in that game. All right, we are here with the game against Lokomotiv Moscow. A win here confirms our spot in the knockout stages. So this is the big game right here to get those three points. Now, looking at the team, I made a few changes. Sherky's at 72 overall now, which is pretty awesome want to see if I can get him to mid-70s this season. I really want to see if I can get him to 80 overall uh, by the end of this career mode. And then our I want to keep trying him in that center mid position. Game Reyes is still not fully back to sharpness yet, so I kind of want to ease him in and maybe play him the full 90 in the league match. This is the same, um, basically the same team that we came up against uh, in the last game where we beat them 6-2. I might be going a little stronger than I need to here, but considering how important of a game this is, I really want to make sure I get all three points. Oh, there we go. Depay has found him belly through. Can he put this away? No, he cannot. The keeper comes out to make the save there. They are really putting the pressure on me at the start here. And Dembele gets his head on another one. They're really putting the pressure on early. I've had a hard time building out the back. Might have to start going a little longer this game than I want. Which makes it a little hard for my Kakre Awar. Um, kind of shadow midfield in front of the defenders. Oh, there we go. What a cross from Ocampos. And Husam Awar. He has been on fire these last few games. That's another goal in the Champions League for Husam Awar. It took me a while to get used to him at that camp position. But he has really, really paid off moving him in there. Is he going to be the, one of the next players at 90? It might be Depay, but he's starting to get a little older. So maybe Auer grows a little faster. But what a header for Husum Auer. 
I've never, I've had trouble with him at Cam before in previous FIFAs, but in this FIFA, once he's hit up to 87 overall, he is a beast. And actually, he's the center mid position today, so I guess he's playing, still playing a little further forward, even at that deep line position. Oh my god, what a cross from Memphis to Pi onto the head of Lucas Ocampos. Is this going to be another slap thing? Are we gonna are we gonna destroy Locomotive Moscow again? This has to almost confirm that we have got the three points and are going to be going into the knockout stages. What a cross from Depay! That's the advantage of having him out on the wing too. It's his crosses are just so perfect and so powerful out there. And the header, almost feel like the keeper could have done a little better on both of those headers, but. It's hard to complain. It's hard to complain now. We're up 2-0. And we have our we have our goal in our hands now. Oh my god. And Cherky lays it off. Dembele is through one on one. With the keeper. This has to be three. And it is 3-0. Locomotive Moscow cannot stop the counterattack there. That's another assist for Cherky too in that build up in Memphis, not Memphis, Moussa Dembele. I mean, it's such an easy finish. Once he's once he's throwing goal like this, you literally just can't stop him. And we are, Lokomotiv Moscow have never been able to touch us in this group stage effort. How many goals is that for Dembele now? Like six in the Champions League? Five in the Champions League. He's hit a little bit of a drought in the league. But in the Champions League, he is still firing on all cylinders. Oh my god, how have we got through again? Oh my god, <laughs> off the post. And it is 4-0 for Leon. Oh my god, <laughs> what is going on? We, we just have to jump to result now, right? Like, there's no way we can continue playing this at 4-0. Kakura just found Dembele through and they literally just couldn't stop him. He hits the post, gets his own rebound, and wow, six goals in the Champions League. All right, we're not going to play the rest of this. We're just going to jump to Sim here. Uh, we're going to, let's just jump to result here. We're going to take the 4-0 win. They brought Katawari, Marshall, and Bruno Guimaraes on. That's good. I really wanted Guimaraes to come on there. Um, but that is going to confirm us to the next round of the Champions League. Now it's just up to the rest of our results to see if we can make it in first place. Basuma um, is looking like he wants to play more. He's been playing a lot because of the Gimaraes injury. Not sure I'm really, uh, really understanding that complaint there. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But we move. Now we have the game against Ren at home, and then we got an international break, so we can kind of go full strength here as well. All right, we are here with the game against Stad Ren. We've had a little bit of a dip in form in the league, but hopefully at home we can remedy that one. Um, we made a few changes here. Um, Lopez is obviously going to stay in goal, but we're going to change our fullbacks again. Bard and Kabori come in. Kabori is not as sharp, so I want to make sure his sharpness goes up. Gimareish and Bisuma start together, and then the front four is the same. Don't think I made any changes to the bench really either. A little bit of weakness in terms of uh, fitness right now, um, but we're going on an international break after this, so I'm not super concerned. I just got to hope none of my players get hurt out of international duty, and we actually surprisingly don't have that many out of international duty. Take a look at the Ren team. Gomis in goal. Doesn't look like they've they got Sakai back there, and Zanzi is still in there. I'm trying to see. They haven't really made any super big signings, it looks like. Is there anybody on the bench? Yeah, it doesn't look like they've, they've really gone out and spent any money to really improve their team. So hopefully we can get this win here and move closer to that, at least that second place spot in the league. Oh my god, and Ren have scored. What? Wow, they've cut us open. And now we are down 1-0. The league is just not working out for me right now. I don't know what is going on. Everything in the Champions League is just coming up great for us we can see there look at this my defense is just completely out of position and he chips the keeper what a beautiful finish there who is that by yo martin terrier against his old club 
It's hard to tell because he doesn't have his real face. I don't like that he's celebrated against us at our home stadium. That's a little cringe, but uh, oh, one nil down. Oh, there we go. What a finish. Dembele has found a pie, and we are right back level terms with Ren. We've had a few good opportunities. We had one good opportunity right in, right before this, and then right here. What a great little combination. Kakare into Depay. Not sure what the defender was doing, but what a calm finish in front of goal for Memphis Depay. Only a second goal in the league so far. Kind of going out on the wing. It's kind of hurt his goal total just that little bit, and we've honestly we've been scoring less goals this season in general, it feels like, but, well, one all. Let's see if we can go... Get the lead before halftime. Oh, it looks like we might just be able to here. Don't even have to cut the clip. Oh my god, Ness, I do. How did we miss that? Wow, I don't know why he didn't just go with his right foot there. And slot it past the keeper. But we're last opportunity of this half. Onto the head of Dembele. But we're going to be going in at halftime. One all here. It's been a decent half, all things considered. I think we've probably been the better team on the balance. We've just conceded a poor goal. Wow, looks like I were super tired already because of that midweek game. Maybe it's time to bring on Marshall here. Move Depay in the middle just to preserve. Keep preserving that stamina as we go for it here in the second half. Gaboria has also not been super great. But that's definitely partially because his sharpness is off. Oh, there we go. What a pass from Depay here. Dembele has to finish that, and it's off the keeper. Unbelievable. All right, Basuma finish. Oh, my gosh. Right outside the box. What a good effort from Basuma there. We got a corner. Head all oh, and a goal line clearance. Wow. How many chances are we going to miss? Are we not going to convert in this game? Unbelievable. Oh, well, there we go. Depay has found Dembele in. He's one on one right here. I think we're going to have to square that into Martial. How has he missed that? Oh, my God. What a nightmare this game has been. How many shots are we going to miss? Like, what the hell is going on? All right, I think it's time to bring Cadaware up top. It's just not been working out for Dembele this game. He's been having not his best game, that's for sure. That will bring Deshiglio here. And so we'll bring Deshiglio on for Kabori. Kabori has just not been at his best at all. And he can play right back too. So let's see if Kadawari can change the game coming up on top. Out, coming out up top for Musa Dembele. Oh, Kadawari has found Depay into Kadawari. Please finish this. And Tino Kadawari has come off the bench and combined with Memphis Depay. For a 2-1 to one lead. What a finish. The patience to get that move on there too. There, Kadawari. Right in and Depay just lays it off. A little bit of a sweaty goal, but Tino Kadawari, he wa I want him to be my second striker going into next season. He's progressed very well in his overall, despite not playing as much as I would have hoped. So, it's moments like that that, <laughs> that are going to justify that decision when I sell Toko Kambi in January. Yep, and it looks like they're going to get the chance to take the ball up, but it's going to be too late. 2-1 win at home to Ren. We justified a few of the mistakes we have made in the league in the start of this episode, and now we are looking nice right now. Hopefully this will pull us back into the top, uh, into the top three positions. Man, we had so many shots. We should be playing, should be scoring way more goals than how many we did. Um, but we are now tied, but they have the game in hand. We are only six points off the top, so still not too bad. Let's take a look. I think the next game we have is in the league against St. Etienne. So we have the Derby game next, and then the game against Galatasaray in the Champions League. All right, we are here with... Oh, Harris, a little scuffed up. We are here with the game against St. Etienne, the Derby game. We won the Derby, the 151st Derby. At the weekend, 2-1. Tino Katawari came off the bench and played very well that game. In this game, we're going with our standard back four. Mendes comes in. Gimare is a little tired from international duty. Obviously, he's still coming back from injury a little bit. And Mendes said he wanted to play. So, 
we're going to put Keeper Ranch onto the reserves here just for this game. We don't, you know, you can never be too careful um, with situations like that. Keeper Ranch got injured um, <laughs> in the previous save, and then he got injured in the second save. So I'm a little more concerned about him getting injured again. So we'll, we'll be careful with his injuries. Um, why is Fleck at St. Etienne? That's so random. And then Buanga is out there. And Campuzano, Buenga had a nightmare of a game against us in the uh, in the derby at the weekend, missing a crucial penalty at the end of the game. But I think we should have a more dominating performance in this game compared to that game. Let's hope we can get this win here. Was that not offside? Wow! <laughs> and they've. My defending, once again, not looking too strong here. As they have worked my defense there. I I, feel, I felt like I, I, left him, I left him alone. I thought he was offside. Let me take a look at this again. Anderson just defending like a clown. And he must just be left onside by Desiglio there. Oh, I'm going to be so happy once we get rid of Anderson. I think he will keep him for a bench defender. Um... But man, he has just not been good enough in this career mode. Alright, here we go. On the counterattack here, Depay is moving in. Get that across to Dembele. And we are back level. Once again, it hasn't taken us long to get a level once we've conceded those early goals. And that's Moose and Dembele right there. 10 goals in the league so far. He's cooled down a little bit recently, but he is back to his goal scoring ways. And that was uh, kind of a risky pass from Depay there, but thankfully Dembele is just, he's just too good. Even when you give him those poor opera give him those just slightly those passes are just slightly not good enough, he's still gonna put them away. Oh, here we go. We have Dembele out here on the wing. He's received that into Awar. Oh, this should be a goal here. And it's saved by the keeper, but the rebound right to Husam Awar. 2-1. We pull ahead here, and Awar is making the most of that move to the central of midfield, or the central attack midfield role. It should count as an assist for Depay. I'm going to check at the end of the last game where we are stats-wise, because Depay's assist tally has to be insane. What? We've had a lot of those goals recently. It feels like those rebounds where it bounces back up off us and we score again. But 2-1, we keep going. Let's see if we can get a third. Oh, there we go. Mendes has found Depay. Cross into Dembele. 3-1. We're running riot here. <laughs> We're running riot here against St. Etienne. Third goal. Two for Dembele in the game. And Depay, he's, he, he's, this is how he's got to be unreal. As I said, look at that. He's on the wing. Mendes found, there, found that good pass. Mendes really wanted to play to keep his game time up. And I mean, he's, if he's going to be making those early run pass right there, he's definitely going to keep earning his spot in this team. What a finish from Dembele. 3-1 in the derby. Alright, let's see if we can get a goal here right before the end of halftime. No, we cannot. We've gone too far back. But 3-1 up here at home to St. Etienne. Just been a dominating performance on all fronts right there. And look there, it looks like Nice were down. 2-0. Let's make a change here. We can see there, Kadawari is a little bit uh, low in terms... He's unhappy, so we want to kind of improve his happiness here. We'll bring him on at halftime, see if he can do some more damage for us. Oh, there we go. Mendes finds Kakar, finds Ocampos. Oh my god, and he's completely scuffed that. Oh my god. What a perfect counterpress to probably the one of the worst misses I've ever seen. Oh, Kino Kataware has found the back of the net, just like he did in the Derby game at the weekend. His dream was to score two goals in the Derby. He's got one so far in this game, four to one. We are cruising right now in this career mode. The goals just keep flying in, it feels like for me. But what a, ta what a finish too. Wow, composed finish by Tino Cataware. Second goal in the league, 4-1 now. Oh, there we go, Depay. Let's see if we can get this 
Back in for Kataware. Oh no, it's Toluca Ocampos 5 to 1 in the derby. Man, it feels like we either can't score or we just put five past our opponents with this team. This attack has just been unreal right there. And Depay, once again, another assist out from that left wing. See that again. But low cross on the ground. And Lucas Ocampos, he's never going to miss that run from there. That is his only a second goal in the league. He's been more of a Champions League um, success for us. We're going to take our up here, bring Marcel on. Yeah, let's bring... Cherky on to make it an entire attacking minded change. See if we can't get these two players continuing to up their overall with some good performances. Oh, Cadaware is through. Oh my gosh, can he finish that? Yes, he can. The Cadaware dream has come true. His dream two goals in the derby. He did it the weekend and he's done it in this career mode here. 6-1. to one. What a dream result in this Derby game. Just absolute, absolute destruction. What a goal for him, too. Just to get that on the press, walk past the defender, and put it past Ruffier. What a what a finish for Tino Katawari. 6-1 to one against Sina Tien. What a, what a game. Tino Katawari on the break here. He's found Marshall. He is through. Let's see if we can tap it back for Lucas Acampos. Can he finish that one? No, he cannot. Wow, he's managed to score in this game, but he's missed two relatively easy chances as well. They got two minutes left in this game, though. That's going to be offside for Lucas Acampos as we are going to comfortably. <laughs> We're going to comfortably take this game 6 to 1. Come on. Oh, are we going to get a chance to score another one here? Oh, Kataweri is through. No, no shot. He's going to get his hat trick. Oh, really? They're going to blow the whistle there in the box. I guess it makes sense. 6-1. to one, Thrashing of St. Etienne. What a great way to give a little bit more morale to Tino Kataweri right there. Once again, low possession. 37% possession. It's just the way that you have to play against Legendary sometimes. Gets these results, and right there, I win 6-1 to one against Saint Etienne, and somehow my manager rating drops. I don't, I, I will never understand the manager rating in this game. This is once again another big game. We're ahead of Real Madrid on goal difference, and we have the game against PSG after this. I think we're going to heavily rotate the side for this game um, to preserve stamina for the PSG game, so I'll see you in the game. All right, we are here against Galatasaray. Let's take a look at the lineups real quick. Obviously, with um, the Champions League licensing, we can't really show it on YouTube. This is the team I'm going with here. Entirely changed midf midfield front three. Yeah, okay. Just had to check a message there. Marcel, Sherkin, and Cornet coming in to replace. Want to make sure all of the other front three are prepared for PSG. Gimaraj, Basuma, Simicon coming in as well uh, for Denayer to make sure Denayer preserves his stamina um all right um <laughs> sorry about that i'll have to cut that out um but then bard and kabori as well we do want to win this game but we need to make sure we beat psg that's more important in our title race that we appear to still be in despite our poor results oh my god what is anderson doing oh my god Oh, my days. Oh, Anderson and Simicon have combined for a nightmare defensive maneuver. And Radamel Falcao, it might not be the striker he once was, but he is still a threat in front of goal. Wow. Simicon went up, missed that, and then Anderson, like, I'm not going to rewatch it. Completely finishes that. Is that even his... It's four goals. How does he have four goals when they're doing so badly? Oh, my God. And then it's off there. Refs discussing that. Gondry is saying that could be a red. Allow it. Got all of the ball there. Oh, there we go. They are into Cornet. Into open space. This should be an easy finish. Yep. Easy finish on the counterattack for Maxwell Cornet. Every time he comes in, he does a job. And that is what we need him to be in the reserves. Coming into these games with Mad Ting pace. What a finish. Dembele lays it off for him. 
And I kind of slowed up a little bit with him there, bait the keeper out and put it right past him. Took a little bit of risky, a lot of risky free kick, but Cornet has punished him on the counter attack. Oh, it's 1-1 one, one now. All right, that's going to end the first half. It should be end of the first half, right? Yeah, end of the first half there. One all. It looked a little dicey at times. The back line, obviously Anderson and Simicon, not the best back line, but we want to make sure Denier is full fitness for that game against um, PSG. Sherky has been very, very good this game, so I don't really, don't really feel the need to make a change yet. Oh no, Babal has found his way through. He's just not quick enough to beat Simicon though. And that's going to go out for a goal kick. Let's make a few changes here. Sherky's just dead tired. He had a good game, but his stamina is just not what it needs to be. We'll bring Depay in. I guess we can bring Awar in as well. Swap them out. And then Deshiglio can come down that left-hand side to make sure we don't lose out there because of Bart's stamina as well. With our hour into Dembele, back to Awar. Kimaraes, sneak it in for Dembele here. Oh, find Kimaraes in here. He has to finish that. Yep, Bruno Kimaraes has jumped in from defensive midfield, and that should surely see us through in this game. Two one away from home at Galatasaray. It's all to play for now against Real Madrid at home. What a what a result that could be if we all we need to do realistically is get a draw against Real Madrid as well and we are through in first place in this group which would have been honestly if we if you would have told me we we're finishing top of the group at the start of this Champions League I would not have believed you what a result oh Jesus no there's no shot oh my God and he's completely missed it the defense was a nightmare but he. In front of goal, even worse, even worse than than our defending there. Oh, there we go. Depay has found Awar. Get it back in. Oh, Depay has to finish that. Wow. I went for the, for the sweat across just to confirm the goal, and we've lost the opportunity, but now we have the ball in midfield, and this should end the game. Can we get another one with Awar just to, just to ice it? No, we cannot. 2-1 win away from Galatasaray. I wasn't always looking like we were going to get that victory, but that triple change in the 78th minute came through clutch, and at the end, the last game of the episode, what an episode this was. A few rough draws at the start in the league, but we have set our Champions League campaign up perfectly, and we are going into the PSG game six points back in third place. This is a huge game away from home against PSG. You're not going to want to miss the next episode. Make sure, if you guys enjoyed this video, to leave a like rating, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe as well. As I said at the start of the video, check out all the links as well. My Twitter, my other YouTube channel, my Discord, and my Twitch. I'm going to try to be more active on my Twitch uh, than I am, and more active on my Twitter as well. So make sure you guys check out those links. I will see you guys in the next video, and as always, have a wonderful day.